If you are committed to your path of personal empowerment, there are really five questions you should be asking yourself on a regular basis. For the best advice when it comes to self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video each Thursday. The first question is, is what you're doing with your life aligned with your truth? Is it aligned with your set of personal core values? Are you having to set aside your integrity or your authenticity in order to do these things? Are you having to hide parts of yourself so that you can keep showing up for these people, these things, these situations that maybe aren't aligned with who you truly are inside? Get clear on whether what you're doing with your life is aligned with your truth. The second question for you to ask is, are you making self-care a priority? A lot of times we can make self-care something that we feel needs to have a lot of time set aside for, or we have to save up a lot of money to make it happen. And let me assure you, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, self-care is a daily practice. Self-care can look like reaching out to a friend who you know supports you and nourishes you. It can mean savoring your cup of coffee in the morning. It could even mean doing a budget. So are you making self-care a priority and are you making it a priority each and every day? In the third question, there are multiple parts. This third question is, how do you rank the different areas of your life? You're going to be use a rating scale from one to 10 with one being, oh yeah, this could, this could use a little work to 10 being, I'm rocking it out. I feel amazing in this area of my life. And you're going to want to look at the different aspects of your life that make up the whole of your personal experience. These can be things like your finances, your relationships, your career. It could include things like your social life, your volunteerism, all of these different parts that you're going to want to rank to see where you need to put a little extra TLC into your life and where you know you're doing an amazing job. I want to know if you were to give your life an overall ranking right now on that scale of one to 10, where would you put yourself? Add it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. The fourth question, and this is one that I talk about a lot, is do you have the support you need in your life? This support can look formal or informal. In an informal way, it might mean you've got a group of friends that you hang out with on a regular basis. It might mean that you have that one friend that you talk to on a weekly basis. It might mean that you have a really strong partnership and you can bounce ideas and get feedback with that person. In a more formal setting, this might look like recruiting a mentor or a coach. It might mean that you put together your personal board of directors, and I made a video about that. I'll include a link for that below. The fifth question to ask yourself is, am I being mindful and intentional about the things I'm doing in my life? This can feel like a lot. It can seem overwhelming to feel like we have to be intentional and mindful all the time. But the thing is, the more we put this into practice, the easier it becomes. It almost becomes instinctive to check in with ourselves and see if what we're doing is aligned with our personal core values. Is it aligned with our truth? Do I need to check in and get the support I need and the accountability I need to be mindful and intentional about the things I'm doing. When we're mindful and intentional, we slow down. And slowing down is a really good thing for us mentally, emotionally, physically. And we want to incorporate more of that into our lives. So are you being mindful and intentional about the things that are happening in your life? To help you work through these five questions, I've created a guide that you can access using the link in the comments below. This guide includes additional prompts to help you do some self-reflection, some excavation, and really get down to how you want to be living your life. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and share this with your friends. I will see you next time. Stay ignited out there. Bye.